I would like to throw some light on a very common problem amongst patients who are presenting to us in the OPD which is persistent watering. Now this problem can span across age brackets from as young as an infant to as old as the elderly population. The reason why watering happens are multifold but one of the reasons that I would like to draw your attention on is the blockage in the drainage pathway. So in our eyes the water or the tears are produced by the lacrimal gland and they are drained by the medium of puncta canaliculus and the nasolacrimal duct into the nose. Now the blockage in this pathway can be at various locations. For example, there can be patients in whom the puncta are stenosed or narrowed where, whereby it does not let the tears pass into the nasolacrimal duct itself. There can also be blockages along the canaliculus and the most common blockage that we see is the blockage across the nasolacrimal duct. Now how we tackle these problems are different based on the site of the obstruction. For example, in case of patients who have a stenosed puncta, all we need to do are measures that can dilate the punctum and the patient will have immediate relief. But if the punctum is normal but the blockage is along the rest of the drainage pathway, then we need to isolate as to where the blockage is. Canalicular blockages can be addressed with trephination and once open, there can be stents which can be placed along this pathway in order to ensure their patency in the longer run. Finally, coming to the nasolacrimal duct obstruction, in this case, uh, we need to perform a very commonly performed procedure called the DCR, also known as decryocystorhinostomy. In this case, we create an alternative pathway from the existing one that connects the lacrimal sac to the nasal pathway. And as ophthalmologists, we commonly perform external DCR, which is the skin approach. And the success rate in the hands of a reasonable surgeon is very good for this procedure. So I urge all the patients who are suffering from persistent watering to visit our hospital so that it enables us to help them the best way we know.